All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I heard about Wi-Fi 6, but I've never heard about Wi-Fi 6 Plus until Huawei sent over their router. So this is their AX3 Wi-Fi 6 Plus router that could push up to 3,000 megabytes per second, which is insane. So today we're gonna take a look at this, but not only that, they also sent over a surprise for you guys, their Huawei Watch GT2 Pro, and I will be doing a giveaway of this watch. I will be also doing an unboxing, but I'll keep this until the end of the video. So just make sure you guys are like staying up to date so you don't miss it. But this thing, let's talk about this. All right, so Wi-Fi 6 is pretty new, but a lot of mobile devices and laptops are now supporting Wi-Fi 6. So having a Wi-Fi 6 enabled router is perfect for pushing the best speeds to those devices. But Huawei's new Wi-Fi router aims to take things up a notch because it has that Wi-Fi 6 Plus capabilities, allowing for up to 3000 megabytes like download speed, which is crazy. And also it supports like having better connection through walls. So that's what the Wi-Fi 6 Plus is all about as well. Now Huawei's AX3 comes with a slick looking design. And let's be real, Wi-Fi routers aren't known for looking good, but I think Huawei managed to pull it off here with this one. Before we jump on over to the specs and all that stuff, let's take a look at what we get inside the box. So the Huawei Wi-Fi AX3 router comes in a decently sized nice white box that holds the router itself, a Cat5 Ethernet cable, a power cable, along with a quick start guide and also a manual and the warranty card. Pretty simple packaging, but neat. Now in terms of design, the Wi-Fi AX3 router looks clean with its white finish. And if you guys are OG of this channel, you know how much I love white peripherals. So seeing this thing was like, the AX3 has a sleek angular design leading up to the four non-removable antennas and the antennas are 90 degrees so it's foldable and it's very sturdy enough to stay in place no matter what angle you leave them at so you could come up with some nice designs if you want to. Alright so when it comes down to routers I'm not a big fan of like big bulky or space consuming routers that takes up the space with a lot of different red colors that screams gaming or anything like that. I just love how this router is neat, it's modern, it's minimalistic and I like that. So in terms of functionality there's a lot to talk about here but one that caught me by surprise is the NFC chip that allows for the Huawei share function that enables like compatible Huawei or Honor phones to easily connect to the router with a single tap. So there's also a rounded key with a stylish H in the middle that allows you to easily connect to other Huawei devices and also acts as a double PS key. All right, so there's one LED light on the router. I love that. I know a lot of people go crazy, but basically just a little LED light which glows green when connected and red when it's not. I personally like that. The router has just one LED indicator. I hate routers that has a lot of lights blinking, blue lights, red lights, and when it's in the dark at night, it gets really distracting. But if you really want to check on the router status, you're able to check all your diagnostics and manage your Wi-Fi router via the AI Life app on your phone. I'll have links to the app that you could download on Android and also iPhone devices. Now taking a look at the back of the router, we have three gigabit capable LAN ports and a one port. The power button and a reset pin. Sadly, there's no USB 2.0 or USB 3.0 ports present. I wish they would have added one. However, the ports are well mapped and it's not too close to each other, which is great if you like to plug and unplug things a lot. All right, no joke, the setup process was a breeze. The Huawei Wi-Fi AX3 router is by far the easiest wireless router I've ever set up. Out of the box, you just hook it up to the mains and to your modem before downloading the Huawei app. So you don't need like a laptop or anything to hook it up. You just put your device near to the NFC. If your device supports NFC, you could just tap your Android phone at the front and you're good to go. You can of course opt in for the traditional method and log in with your laptop or PC. And the thing that I like is that Wait, actually, this is my setup process right here when it comes on to the PC. So if this is in any shape or form confusing to you guys, this is not a modem. This is a Wi-Fi router. So you will need to connect this Wi-Fi router into your pre-existing modem in order for it to work. So yeah, you will still get all the benefits because most modems like this doesn't give out the full 3000 megabytes it doesn't give out that Wi-Fi 6 capability and also tons of the features that are available on this 
AX3 is not available with just like a typical Wi-Fi modem. So yeah, that's where this comes in with all its benefits. All right, so I'm showing you guys this right now because this literally just popped up and I don't want to like screen record anything because this just shows how good this router is. So once I plugged in my ethernet cable into the router it, and then plug it in my PC, it popped up a web page, which is basically the router's web page that you could go in, change your Wi-Fi settings and all of that. And I quickly did a speed test and these are the speeds I got. So I got 301 download. Bear in mind, my my internet service provider gives me 300 downloads. So I got an extra 1.21 megabytes, which is insane. And also I'm supposed to get 15 upload, but 14.16 is not bad. And a four millisecond ping. So that's crazy. But that just goes to show how easy it is like Huawei just making everything easy to set up. So I'm just going to log in right here and see what's going on. So yeah, as you can see, like Huawei makes it super easy for us to set up everything. And if you're on an iPhone, you could use the iPhone app as well. It's just because you don't have that NFC tap, so you'd have to go into the app and do everything manually. But it's not like, come on, it's not that big of a deal. So once you have the app up and running on your Android or your iPhone or whatever device you're using, it automatically detects the Wi-Fi and then it handles almost like every setting that you need to get it started. We can view our upload and download speeds, check connectivity quality, see the number of connected devices, set parental controls, manage updates, your network and router settings, and also manage guest Wi-Fi. And here's like what it would look like on your mobile device. Quickly taking a look at the app guys, it's very clean. First and foremost, we can see that our internet connection is perfectly fine. This is the button right here, shows us the different channels and the strength, what is in use. If we go back here to the home screen, we could see our download speed or upload speed currently, the amount of devices connected like we've seen before, and it gives you like specifically what's connected. It shows you the name of the devices, if it's connected through ethernet or Wi-Fi. We'll show your offline devices and blocked devices. So as you can see, my 12 Pro Max is blocked. So. Let me go ahead and give them access real quick. We could add a guest Wi-Fi. So if your friends or family come over, you don't want them to have access to your like personal internet. You could just start up a guest Wi-Fi, choose the name, choose the password. And also the good thing is you could set a speed limit. All right. So you could only give them like, say we only want to let them eat up like, like 20 megabytes per second. You just set that speed limit. And if you know they're just only gonna stay for a couple of days or the weekend, you could set like a, a one day, four hour limit, which is kind of cool. And that will come in handy if you tend to have a lot of people over, or if you actually run a business where people come in and you need to like have a guest Wi-Fi for those people to keep them like, you know, not bored when they come into your business. Another cool feature we have, I know the kids are gonna hate this one because it's the parent control feature. So if we jump into here, the parents, you're gonna love this one. So basically you could choose your kid's device that you want to limit the time and day they could use it. So for example, if their bedtime is at like seven, you could choose their device, come in here, make sure you enable it when they wake up or when it's time for school and then disable it on a specific time when they want to go to bed. And that's all, all you have to do. And then you choose if that happens every day or only on weekends, or you could personally customize which day you want those specific time periods to be on when they could access the internet or not. And then all you have to do, hit the check mark, done. Then it's saved. So my 11 Pro can't oh, use the internet only on specific days and certain times. So if you have multiple, um, Huawei routers, you could use them as like a Wi-Fi extender, set them around your business or your house to get more range so you never have Wi-Fi dead spots. Even though the Wi-Fi signal on this one is really good, but that's a good feature. We have our double PS and also our backup Wi-Fi 5 network. So what I'm gonna do now actually is go outside and test the Wi-Fi range with my regular modem. Then I'm gonna switch the Wi-Fi network over to the Huawei AX3 Wi-Fi 6 Plus router and see which one has a better strength and also gives us more speed, which would be interesting. So let's go. First thing first, guys, my router and my modem is at the same place. This is my modem Chevy 5G. You can see it has two signals. Chevy got net, which is the new Huawei router 
has full bars and they're literally at the same spot so that's already showing you that hey this thing is crazy all right so we're gonna run some speed tests right now guys okay so, so we're getting up to 50 no way all right 30 that's not bad so we're getting 33 damn we're still getting our full upload speeds all the way outside that's insane guys look so much brick walls and everything and we're still getting our 15 upload speeds that's insane and i'm not cutting this video jump into the wi-fi you could see chevy got net the one we set up with our wi-fi router now let's go down to this is my modem the one i had first and we're going to test the speed of this one and as you can see it only has two bars chevy got net has full bars and they are in the same spot so let's see if that could beat my 33.9 let's test this hit go okay we're getting like 30 20 20 18 15 16 come on modem don't disappoint me like this oh man the huawei annihilated it let's see the upload speeds though come on no upload speeds it's struggling to even give me the upload speeds guys that's crazy so the huawei hit like 33 error test fail check your internet connection wow and that was with my chevy 5g so that's a story in it for itself but yeah guys so for my main highlights of this router is all about the speeds i'm all about that i have to upload 4k videos on my youtube i stream on twitch at least three times per week and having that speed to push out with any limitations is a win for me i also love the fact that i could connect up to 128 devices at the same time not that i would ever do that but due to the fact that i have so many phones computers tablets and laptops connected to the same network having that peace of mind knowing i'm still gonna have like subpar speeds across all of them is amazing thanks to that low latency of wi-fi 6. so if you're also really big on privacy and ensuring that you never get viruses on your devices then the huawei ax3 has a built-in firewall now this firewall protects you from any malicious data or websites and it's smart enough to block certain suspicious websites which is great but yeah that has been my review of this router guys not much to talk about a router and while wi-fi 6 is still in its growing stage it's most definitely the future as more mobile devices and computers are taking advantage of this new technology and to add to icing onto the cake this has that wi-fi 6 plus making it easier for signals to travel through walls, eliminating those Wi-Fi dead spots in the house. So yeah, I think this router is a pretty solid choice due to its ease of use and amazing performance. Now, as I said before, for all the, the real people who made it to the end of the video, I will be giving away one of these smartwatches, the Huawei GT2 Pro. So make sure you guys are subscribed, you follow me over on Instagram so you know I'll be doing the giveaway and also the review of this watch. So just a heads up, I'll leave links down below in the description to enter the giveaway and also to link this Wi-Fi router for you guys to purchase. As always guys, let me put this down neatly. Love, peace and tweaks. Signing out.